just to illustrate something real quickly, this is this is the uh, street sign, wham, that's just bent down here. This is Bessemer and Greencroft, which is where we're located, but it's just boom, down with the trees and everything else. And as homeowners here and all over the state of Ohio are trying to pick up the pieces, they're doing it primarily without any power. We want to go to Harrison Township, where our Marielle Carbone is standing by live with the damage that's happened there. Marielle? Right, well, Dayton Power and Light telling us this afternoon that there were about 70,000 people without power. And you can see why when you look just in the road behind us, there are uh, three power lines down just behind us, more to the front of us. And they say they are working to restore power as quickly as possible. But in the meantime, residents are just happy that the community is coming together to help. It was an emotional morning for this mother of three. And I have three kids, you know, they woke up, where's breakfast? I can't do the dishes, we can't shower. But the community is stepping in. It, it was a no brainer for us to come together. We know people don't have power, they don't have water. Some people don't have houses. George's family restaurant is cooking free meals for those without power and helping ease the fears of people like Melissa Carter. It's not me that I'm worried about, it's my kids. And when I can't provide for them, I can't explain what's going on. Carter is about one of 20,000 people in Harrison Township without power Tuesday afternoon. Statewide, the number is more than 70,000. Devastation. World War III. Fire Chief Mark Lynch says the damage is like nothing he's ever seen before. Winds leveled buildings and trees ripped down power lines. Natural gas was shut off overnight and a boil advisory is in effect. He says the area has a long road ahead of it. We have a lot of business here uh, and a lot of it got devastated last night. So it's going to be a long time coming back. According to Dayton Power and Light, the first priority for restoration is emergency situations. Then it'll work to restore power to customers as quickly as possible. In the meantime, homeowners are just thankful the community is coming together. I'm just crying happy tears. So a lot of work that still needs to be done to help pick up and restore utility poles like this. Now Duke Energy says they have offered to come out and help assist. At this point, no calls have been made yet of requesting their crews come out and help. For now, though, reporting live in Harrison Township, Marielle Carbone, 9 on your side.